So I figured I'd do a video on my stamp stale fry pan. I have several of these, uh, two being from the 18th century. Uh, this being one of them, it's a small one, I'm guessing it's uh, 8 inches. And then I have a, a bigger one that I've used on my canoe camping trips and snowshoe trips. Uh, and that one I think is a, either a 12 or a 14 inch. Uh, but this one sat around uh, quite a while without being used. So last night I washed it out. Uh, when I do that I usually put water in it, boil it. Uh, you can do it over the fire obviously. Uh, or on the stove top, which I did, and uh, you know I used soap and water and all that, and I scrubbed it real good. Uh, now it needs to be seasoned again. So I figured, with the weather outside, it's snowing, uh, nice to sit here by the fire on the hearth and uh, knock out a project and maybe do some cooking as well. So you can use many different oils for this. I have other videos on my channel where I've done this over a fire outside. Uh, I've baked uh, a couple pieces, cast iron and, and whatever, in the oven as well. Um, so flaxseed oil, olive oil, uh, any of those, coconut oil, all those things will work. Uh, from what I've read, flaxseed is probably one of the best. Uh, I'm going to be using olive oil. That's typically what I use. Uh, and then at the end, for a final coat, usually I'll fry up some bacon. I'm not going to do that with this one. But, uh, so we're going to heat up that pan just a little bit first, get it warm. Uh, we'll rub thin layers of oil. Uh, you don't really want to soak it in there uh, and let it pool up. But <clears throat> Probably get enough there. So again, just thin layers, and once you bake this on, you know, some people say that olive oil isn't good because it'll go rancid. Uh, most of the oils will, but this process of baking whatever oil it is onto it carbonizes that oil to the pan uh, and creates that, you know, non-stick surface, so to speak. So uh, once it carbonizes, no issues with uh, being rancid. Uh, we'll do the outside as well. Uh, you can certainly overdo this. Um, basically burn the oil. Put my glove on here. Uh, so you don't want to do that. You want to bring it up to a heat where it starts smoking. And that's about it. So I'll usually keep it over there till it heats up, you know, just about to that point. I'll even flip the pan over and catch the inside of that as well. Just for a little bit. Take it out, repeat. I like to get, you know, five or six coats on it, anyways. It's like you can see it's smoky, right? So if you're doing it in the house, you want to be mindful of that. So 
So we're on coat number six here. So that does it. I think you can see the nice shine from there, non-stick surface. And the outside turned out pretty well, blackened up again quite nicely. And it'll get better now as I continue to use it, you know, and give it a season and uh, you know just the coat after I'm done cooking and cleaning it up. Thank you guys for joining me for this short episode. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next one. Take care.